headline bias tracker for December 14th, 2023. Yeah, today we're covering Tesla and BYD. And I've got a couple things of note today. Uh, this is uh, the supporter only show. Six times a week for supporters only. I'm planning to do one time a week with a recap that goes out publicly. Not everyone needs this, not everyone wants this, but it's valuable. And uh, the methodology for the reminder is 25, the 25 top headlines on Google News, um, and then we just rate them. Now, I did make uh, an adjustment to the scale. I was doing negative points and positive points. They're whole numbers now, so it's easier. So that means that uh, the previous two days were at, for Tesla, negative 36 and negative 96. With, with everyone else showing numbers in the positives, interesting. It's only been two. Today is day three. Let's get started. And there will be uh, a rolling weekly average and a rolling monthly average. Those launch today. We've got enough data points. Tesla recalls over 2 million. This is still the top story. This is still the top section. This recall, that's not a recall, it's an update. Well, it is a recall. Look at the legal definition, right? The definition's wrong because there was never a word for it because there was never a need to give it a label. Did Windows recall every version of Windows ever made because of safety concerns, critical safety concerns? Yeah, they do software updates all the time. Yeah, but th this could kill somebody. Could, could your iPhone kill somebody when a 15 billion uh, devices are, are recalled? Could they kill somebody? They could, yeah, I mean, they could, your your data is your life. So yes, people have died over a loss of their of their privacy, of their security. So yes, it's okay. Tesla recalls autopilot software in 2 million vehicles. Tesla is recalling nearly all vehicles sold in US and Tesla recalls 2 million vehicles over issue with autopilot. What to know? This one's almost neutral, but it isn't. All three of those are bad headlines. Here we go. Tesla makes decisive move from key level. Time to buy? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say neutral. That seems pretty neutral to me. Massive news for Ford stocks, Tesla stock, and Rivian stock investors. I'm going to say positive. It sounds good. It's got massive rather than terrible. Tesla claims Powerwall with solar is cheaper than a backup generator. Now, I personally think this is negative because of the word claims, but also I think if Tesla is claiming that it's cheaper than a generator, that's not necessarily honest. I'm going to call this a positive headline. Good job, Fred. Why Tesla's Cybertruck is so hard to mass produce. We still have this one up from yesterday. That is absolutely negative. Ford CEO tweets about Super Duty rescuing Tesla Cybertruck in a video. Hot, wet, BS because what he tweeted was that all cars get stuck sometimes. That's misleading, Detroit Free Press. I get it. You know which side your bread is buttered on, and it's the big three. You do you. Tesla offers new discounts on electric vehicles with conditions. Boy, that's almost... You could argue it's negative because of the with conditions, but I'm calling it positive because... The big headline, the big part you'll read is new discounts. Of course, there's conditions. There's always conditions on things like that. Tesla signals Model Y also losing full 7,500 tax credit. While potentially true, that's negative. They could have said a, a, a neutral headline would have been Tesla signals Model Y may lose partial credit. Tesla to lose $7,500 consumer tax credits for some Model 3 vehicles. Absolutely negative. <sighs> Here's why Tesla's facing a lower growth period in the new year. Negative. Negative. It's true, but it's negative. Uh, Nordic investors urge Tesla to back down in Swedish labor dispute. That's neutral. You know, it's... You could, that's, that's, that's true. It doesn't take a side. Uh, it's fine. Tesla faces garbage pileups as more union backlash. Backlash. Come on. Tesla's Nordic dispute sparks angry letter from money managers. Come on now. And I'm not saying they shouldn't address these concerns. I'm not saying they shouldn't uh, at least have discussions with these people. Uh, the reputation unions have in the U.S. is unique in the world. Other countries don't do this. When the UAW uh, 
tried to move into Mexico, the Mexican uh, workers looked at it and said, boy, do we really want to be part of this or do we want to just do it and look out for our own best interests rather than the UAWs? U.S. unions are a unique thing. Best comment on Tesla demand challenges I've seen. That's... It's either neutral or positive. I like it either way. And then spendy and slow Tesla repairs frustrate drivers. It is true, though, but it is a negative headline for sure. Uh, Tesla, you need to sort out your parts situation. Parts are very high margin. Make them more available, would you? Why is Tesla recalling almost all its cars in the U.S.? For crying out loud. Tesla recalls 2023. Check full list of car models recalled this year. Uh, I mean, why are we even talking about it? Negative. Why are we even talking about it? They don't have more recalls than other companies. And they don't have, they have way fewer, far, far fewer in-person recalls. Knock it off. Tesla, Tesla's massive autopilot recalls reflects the real-world risks of Elon Musk's hyperbolic shut-the-hell-up CNN. Oh, God, CNN. Tesla recalls nearly all vehicles. Come on. Tesla Bull highlights the worst thing to ever happen to its brand. Wow. A bad day for Tesla. Massive U.S. recall and a Swedish strike. Volkswagen is losing the electric car race to Tesla in China. Positive. And again with the recall. Boy, not great. So today's uh, in bias index for the headlines, negative 56. That's terrible. And if we go a little farther, further, <laughs> negative. Uh, I had seen some, now I'm doing this in incognito mode with a VPN to see what generic user sees. Not what, not what I would see, not what you would see, but generic viewer. Um, when I checked this early this morning, there were a few positives. There were some great ones about the bot and that demo. Fine. Negative 56 for Tesla. Great. BYD, let's cover them real quick. Surely they've got something going on here. Let's get over here. China auto shares volatile as investors search for next BYD. Boy, I'm going to just say neutral. It's almost negative because they're saying move past BYD. BYD is the leader in China among Chinese brands. And there are a hundred other car companies. You know the names of a few of them, but there are, without exaggeration, a hundred EV makers plus in China. BYD secures orders from Thailand Auto Show. That's positive. BYD quickens showroom expansion abroad to offset flat China EV sales growth. I'm going to say that's still positive. BYD's all-electric supercar to offer an incredible 1,300 horsepower, but weighs almost 2.5 tons. You notice the spelling here. That's metric tons. This is a 5,500-pound car. I'm going to call this neutral because it's incredible, but 5,500 pounds, boy, that is awfully, awfully heavy for a coupe. BYD uh, SUV leaked, a new Tesla rival, positive. The Yang Wang dancing car, positive, positive. BYD's next big electric seller spotted, positive. BYD challenges cattle's EV battery crown in China. This is an exciting one. It's positive, but CATL is a very big battery maker. BYD is also big. But they're getting bigger because you know who BYD can sell their batteries to themselves. Top sellers, BYD number one. That's positive for sure, without a doubt. China's BYD opts for hybrid dealer model in Mexico. Uh, I mean, positive maybe, but I'm going to say neutral because people have different opinions. But uh, that's certainly not a bad headline. BYD boosts global expansion as China EV sales stall. Positive. As China electric vehicles go global, legacy automakers find reducing costs is now more important. Neutral. I mean, that's just, that's a, that's a fine headline. Tesla stock closing in on buy point. China price war slams rival. Hmm. I'm going to say neutral. I don't know. Ah, uh, can't, can't skip. BYD, skip, 
BYD highlights leadership in sustainable. They high there. That's that's good. BYD offers subsidies discount for some models. Positive. See, it's not impossible, Reuters. You can do it. You can actually be good to people. Uh huh. Ads. It's positive. They're just adding. BYD says they'll keep reward system for smear campaign tipsters. Ooh, boy, is that positive or not? It doesn't sound positive. I'm going to call it neutral. You know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to say neutral. It's almost negative, but it's not. BYD fills top spots behind Tesla in global EV market. That's great. You're being recognized as a world leader. Chinese electric car giant BYD launches its popular hand sedan in the Middle East. Positive. Launches a Tesla Model 3 rival SEAL in North America. Great. BYD, and by the way, this is the kind of car you should expect to see on the roads in Canada. They do not have the 27.5% chicken tax, the onerous import tariff that makes Chinese cars so incredibly uncommon on U.S. roads. The only one we really have is the Polestar. BYD growth status in doubt with $12 billion sell-off. That's negative. Uh, BYD mourns the loss of legendary investor Charlie Munger. Neutral. Uh, it might even be a little positive because it shows that someone like the Hathaways, the Berkshire Hathaway group, had confidence and it's great. New BYD vessel. They own their own ship. That's great. That's very great. Uh, and BYD sealed design in studio. This gives BYD a media headline, a headline bias index of, of 60, positive 60. What a huge swing. Uh, now let's, uh, I should have mentioned earlier, by the way, here's the, the tracker over time. You can see that Tesla had a real bad day yesterday with everything being dominated by the recall and it's gotten a little bit better. So we're doing fine on that. We're at a uh, rolling three day average of negative 63. So consistent with today's results. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can look on uh, above me here and see what's coming up in the next day or two, uh, or the rest of the week or all week. If you want to suggest some companies or topics I should follow, let's do it. And guys, you just gotta, no one's been watching you. You media, no one's been watching you. We've all felt that the sentiment was really negative, but not like this, not like this. This is outrageous. BYD gets pretty good headlines, mostly good headlines between average, between neutral and good, it's closer to good, where Tesla is just buried in the closer to all negative than even closer to neutral. And I get it, the clicks sell. Ah, do better media, do better. Talk to you soon.